Ryan has more on why these numbers only scratch the surface. Between soaring inflation and an uncertain economy, New York state poverty ratings set off even more alarms about families struggling to get by. The state says 12.7% of families statewide are living below the poverty line. Essex and Clinton counties falling slightly below that average at 10.2% and 11.1%. Franklin County had one of the highest rates. 15.9%. But as John Bernardi, the president of United Way, which is an organization assisting these families, says these numbers don't tell the full story. That number um, is um, represents the very poorest group of children in Franklin County. It does not represent other children living in poverty or financial hardship. United Way has their own ALICE program, which supports families who don't qualify as impoverished in the state but still face financial hardship. The numbers from the ALICE program are even more concerning. Half of the children in New York State are living in a situation of financial hardship. According to United Way, 17% of children in the state live in poverty but another 35% fall below the ALICE threshold, which means over half of children in New York are facing instability. And for families in the North Country... Rural areas um, have a, a number of challenges, transportation, uh, availability of resources, um, proximity of good paying jobs, uh, and um, a lack of um, public transportation and numerous other reasons that further exacerbate our financial instability. Although there is no quick fix to better support these families, Bernardi says compassion goes a long way. But what we are asking is that employers be aware of the challenges that their colleagues may be facing and to be empathetic to their needs. In Plattsburgh, Amanda Martin-Ryan, NBC5 News.